Electrode, we know it's not an actual Pokeball, but it's come apart like one in here, so that's not coming back together. Electrode's dead. At least he's smiling through it all. Electrode died. All right, hey guys, today I have some of the most unique Pokemon cards that you are ever going to see. If you were a fan from the 90s or early 2000s, then you most likely recognize the art style and look of these cards, which are known as the Cardos set. Uh, these cards were some of the earliest Pokemon cards to be created, preceding the first official TCG set by one month actually. Bandai created small card vending machines that would traditionally be found in stores across Japan called Cardos machines. These machines would distribute a pack of 5 cards for 100 yen to anyone that inserted coins into the machines. In September 1996, Bandai started distributing Pokemon cards in their machines and there arrived the Cardos set. The Cardos Pokemon cards were released in 4 parts. Parts 1 and 2 featured cards representing the two versions of the Pokemon games in Japan at the time, red and green. Each color variant had 151 Pokemon. These cards were more basic in their artwork and featured info about the Pokemon on the back of the card. The set also featured 3 town map cards and 4 card lists for a total of 309 cards. The part 1 and 2 set even featured holofoil cards which demand huge prices online at the moment for anyone looking to buy one. The meat of this video however comes in the part 3 and 4 run of the Bandai set. This set has much fewer cards with only 151 Pokemon and two secret rare cards. But this is where the creativity and amazing artwork really came through. I want to take a deep dive into all 153 cards in this set. I haven't seen a lot of these cards myself, so I wanted to share my initial thoughts in this video. So we get started with good old fashioned Bulbasaur. You hardly ever see this kind of art with these cards anymore. I don't know, I felt like back in the original days of the Pokemon cards, you like I, the first Bul Bulbasaur card, it had him shooting the seed out. I don't know. It seems like they've lost a little bit of that nuance. I don't know, it could just be me. You have your Razor Leaf, Ivysaur. A lot of these you'll see have a specific move that they're targeting in the card. Venusaur, Vine Whip, Charmander line. We got our little, uh, this would probably be Ember. Um, I like how it kind of kind of makes Charmander look weak here, like he's really struggling to to shoot out some ember. We've got our slash here with a little bit more powerful Charmeleon. This card here is, I've covered this in another another video. This is our first hollow foil that we've seen here. I believe Venusaur has a hollow foil equivalent, but I'm not exactly sure. But this Charizard is awesome. The, the artwork is so classic and this card, I can't remember the exact price, but is extremely expensive if you buy it online. Um, especially if it's PSA graded. People love this card for good reason. It's amazing. Now we got my personal favorite of the three Kanto starters, Squirtle. Um, <laughs> that's a really cute card. Uh, I love that card. I love it. And we got Blastoise. This is a great card. We're using Hydro Pump here. Uh, just, I love how, and you can see it's a hollow foil here as well. And these hollow foils are pretty cool. If you see a, like a video of somebody turning it in the light, uh, really good shine on them. They kind of have this diamond type, type pattern across the entire card. Really awesome. Uh, Caterpie here using String Shot. Metapod. Now this is an odd kind of look on Metapod. Some of these Pokemon you'll see, have, they've definitely changed over the years and even changed in the first iteration of the TCG game. We usually don't see Metapod in this kind of stance, almost like his eyes are looking the other way. I don't know. We have Butterfree. This one is more of just Kind of what we're used to seeing this is a kind of a more traditional look but using some kind of powder weedle kind of lame weedle not much different about him we have our kakuna um and then beedrill this is something that we have i don't know if i i've never seen this in a card before or even media but uh literally shooting his stinger out i don't know if this is actually cannon at this point if he can actually do that we've never seen this kind of move at least i haven't so it, it's probably out there somewhere but and these pidgey and pidgeotto pidgeot cards are really great i love this uh, sand attack same thing with uh pidgeotto i don't i don't know if this is wing attack or something like that and pidgeot i love how they're just focusing on the, the pure speed which is what the major thing that it talked about in the, po the first pokedex entry for pidgeot little rattata here i don't know what's going on but it looks like it's going super saiyan right here <laughs> i don't know what what's going on in that but 
whatever. Raticate, that's terrifying. If that was running at you and it was at all had any kind of size on it, you would run as fast as you can in the opposite direction. We've got a little Sparrow here. Um, nothing special about that card, just I love the old artwork. Now this one is awesome, Pharaoh. Oh, this would be Drill Peck, and I love how literally they show it spinning like a drill. Ekans using Glare or Leer or something like that. I like that. You usually don't see that depicted much. This is our first card we've seen where we see two Pokemon in one card, but one is actually assisting the depiction of the other. And this is where they start. This is where you get the dark cards. So a lot of these cards you'll see as we come up legitimately show another Pokemon attacking and you have to assume killing the other Pokemon <laughs> in these in these cards because as we've read in Pokedex entries these Pokemon hunt and eat each other so you have to assume that Arbok being a snake is going after Diglett being a mole and using some kind of acid spray on it uh, kind of messed up but a, a really cool card we get uh, another hollow foil here with Pikachu I love fat Pikachu stop thinning Pikachu down fat Pikachu is the best Pikachu type F in the comments for for fat Pikachu Raichu, unsung hero. Ash, evolve your Pikachu. As much as I like Fat Pikachu, Fat Raichu owns the day. Let's go another F in chat for uh, for Fat Raichu. Sandshrew, I love Sandshrew. I love the, and I like this kind of black behind the card. That's, that's just a good look. I don't know, that contrasts well. Sandslash, I don't know what this is. Maybe he's using Growl. You can't, this, this is not a great card for uh, Nidoran because you can't even see its face. <laughs> <laughs> Needle Rana, uh, just straight up chewing on a Voltorb, which, which the Voltorb just looks mildly inconvenienced here. Not not too dark on that one, but <laughs> funny, honestly. Nido Queen, um, ooh, I like the spikes it shows on this. That's that's new. You don't see that. This is the better one. This is a. I feel like this is ex almost exactly what we saw on the first uh, Nidoran male card we got in the TCG. Nidorano, and we've got Nido Queen or Nido King using a uh, horn drill here. Oh, we get another hollow foil. I did not expect Clefairy to be hollow foil, but I like that. Just the double slap. Clefable, I like Clefable using metronome there. Vulpix, fan favorite. Nine Tails, not bad. Now, this is as basic as it gets. This one, they put no effort. These normal cards, I'm not a huge fan of. They're just like, I don't know why they have this, like, just kind of yellowish color in the background for the normal type Pokemon <laughs> I don't know what's going on here what move is this guys help me out here what move is is Wigglytuff using but Psyduck's had it Psyduck is beat down oh everyone I hate Zubat Golbat whoa what is going on with Oddish Oddish looks it's messed up <laughs> I, I have no clue he's got some smoke going around some drool hanging out of the mouth leaves are wilted Ooh, I like gloom here either using solar beam or absorbing sunlight for solar beam Let's see what we got vile plume that's a that's a good-looking card the pink with the green behind now this one this one's messed up we've got Paris literally just chomping down on Weedle just eating it those teeth honestly look kind of like they're dug in. They maybe just be curved, but depending on the perspective you're looking at it from, looks like it's dug right into Weedle's skull. Weedle's done here. This Weedle's not getting up from this. Paris is going to eat Weedle in this card. Parasect. Now, if we know anything about Parasect, this might be the darkest card here. We know that this mushroom has actually grown into Parasect, and Parasect's actually dead, and the mushroom is controlling the body now it looks like it has added its spores to psyduck so could we see a psyduck mushroom variant where this mushroom digs down into psyduck and takes over psyduck like a zombie duck that that would be messed up we've got a uh, venonat here now veno moth is looking weird right here what is with the eyes that I usually like Venom. That is creepy looking. Diglett. I like this. I like how it shows kind of mid, mid submerged in the dirt there. <laughs> this was kind of cool too because Dugdrio is kind of blurry and out of focus, like it's vibrating the ground for earthquake. <laughs> 
That is a hilarious Meowth card. Not only does Meowth kind of look cute here, but he's like legitimately handing one of his coins that he got from Payday to its master, its trainer. I love that. Persian went from cute Meowth to vicious Persian. Ooh, I like this Psyduck. Psyduck looks like it's had enough of the abuse and it's fighting back. Golduck looking regal as ever. Mankey. Primeape. I like how it shows the forearms, meaning that it's punching so quickly and it's enraged that you that it seems like it's got more than more than two arms. A little Growlithe. Growlithe's looking Growlithe's looking kind of weird here, but shooting those embers like our like our boy Charmander was. RK9 looking looking kind of mean. Ooh, I like this Poliwag. Really showing the hypnosis. <laughs> why is he had it? Why does he have his hands like that? Polyrath just slapping, slapping the heck out of somebody. Ooh, these psychic cards look amazing. I like that kind of rainbow look in the background. That, that is cool. That's what the normal, normal should have done something different. Because this makes it just look stupid. Kadabra. Oh my gosh, look at this Poliwag. Just completely melting the brain of this Poliwag. Alakazam, just looking mighty. Now we got our fighting cards. I like this red. Kind of looks, kind of looks striking there. Using that low kick. Ooh, that's an awesome card. Machoke just, just chucking a boulder down on somebody's head. Whoever he's throwing that at, dead. Machamp flying in with the kick. Good looking card. <laughs> I don't know what's going on here, but maybe it's some kind of vine whip. That's cool. Weeping Bell just oozing acid out of the mouth. That looks kind of, that looks kind of creepy too. Oh, that is awesome. That's something we haven't we haven't seen. The the pedals on Victory Bell just spinning like a buzzsaw. That's vicious. Tentacool? Oh, what? <laughs> Man, some uh some anime fans would be a fan of this. Uh Tentacool just straight up harassing a, an electrode. Geodude, Graveler. <laughs> this one. This is the first time I've seen like explosion or self-destruct just completely depicted now this is an awesome looking card but we have to assume i've always wondered how pokemon come back from using self-destruct in this depiction i'm starting to think they don't he's not coming back together out of this this golem is literally just exploding you can see and now we know there's nothing inside the rock it's just arms legs head and it's just done and he kind of looks like he knows he knows it's over. That's sad. Oh, wow. That's the coolest pony talk card I've ever seen. Fire spin all the way around the body. That is awesome. And Rapidash kind of is a letdown. What's going on with its legs? That card doesn't look good. I'll say it. Slowpoke, just chilling. Nothing special. Slowbro, just looking dumb as ever. <laughs> Ooh, Magnemite. That's a cool looking card. I like the yellow in the background for the electric type. Back when it wasn't steel. Magneton, I like it. I like that card. <laughs> Farfetch'd, <laughs> what is happening here? Why does it look so? Why does it look so confident? It's just balancing. They should have done something with that in the game rather than just making it just a bird. Just <laughs> do duo. Its necks are tangled up. It can't get along. Okay, and then Dodrio actually just looks normal. That that doesn't really make sense when it comes to. Uh, the Pokedex because it says the heads can't get along at all. Old Seal just sleeping. You got the little nose bubble. Oh man, Duogong usually looking really nice. No, this time just ice beaming a ditto. What did this ditto do? It's just getting ice beamed. Man, Duogong the bully. Here we go. Old Nasty right here. Muck sludging it up. That's a cool looking card though. Just looks nice. Shelder. Ooh, I like that. That cloister looks cool. Man, Ghastly looking really evil. The eyes are red and bloodshot. Like it's just been stalking you all night. Haunter. <laughs> now that's awesome. You got Snorlax down here. He's dreaming of food. And then Gengar's just eating the dream. That is cool. Onyx should have had a evolution in Gen 1. Because it just seems so empty without it. But it was powerful at the time. Drowsy with that awesome sidekick rainbow look in the background. Hypno, always creepy. Even creepier with such a big head in this depiction. Oh my gosh! What did Ditto do to these Pokemon? 
this Krabby is just strangling this Ditto. If you tell me by looking at that Ditto's face that that Ditto is going to live after this, or is even alive here, you're, you're lying to yourself. Its body's all like elongated and drooped down. That's messed up. Okay, what is going on with Ditto in this Cardoff series? Kingler just crab hammer, smashing it. Just squishing Ditto. Parts of Ditto's body are literally flying off. <laughs> Why? Oh, I like that. Light screen, like, shows a legitimate like, glass wall. That's cool. Right, here's another self destruct electrode. We know it's not an actual Pokeball. But it's come apart like one in here, so that's not coming back together. Electrode's dead. At least he's smiling through it all. Electrode died in this card. This is that the old version of Execute. It had the one big egg. This was shown in a lot of early art for, for the Pokemon, but then kind of changed. Then you just have Bully Executor here. Just smashing Diglett. Look at the Diglett face. Just stepping on him for fun. These cards were brutal. This might be one of my favorite cards here. You see the Cubone, and you can really see under that. This is probably the best image we've ever seen of Cubone under the under the helmet. So the whole like this is an unevolved Kangaskhan. I think this almost confirms it. I mean, it just looks exactly like that. Looking at this image, but crying, sad as usual. And you got Marowak, learn to cope with it, just chucking the, the boomerang bone. Hitmon Lee, classic look from Hitmon Chan, throwing those punches. And then you got Lickitung, just tongue, just, he's got it wrapped around Weeping Bell here, just sm slamming on the ground. It looks mean about it too. Lickitung does not look all fun and happy. It looks mean. What is with the explosions? Look at Coughing. Coughing's done. At least with Golem, we know like it's a rock. It may come back together. Electrode may pop back together as a Pokeball. This is coughing. He is busted into pieces. Like it's all brittle. Just exploded into pieces. And look at the sweat on its face. Like, like it's thinking, uh-oh. Like, I knew what I did. I'm done. That is brutal. That Pokemon's done. Dead Pokemon. Weezing, that's an awesome looking design for Weezing. Rhyhorn just right on here charging in. Eh, that's kind of a lame depiction. Like I said, these normal Pokemon are the worst Pokemon in this set. They just don't look good. There's just this yellow background. They have Chansey just using Sing, I guess. Why didn't they have it doing something with its egg? I don't know what's going on here, but I don't like any of it. Tangle is just like got its tentacles all over Psyduck. Psyduck's laying here in prone position, but like kind of shocked. I don't know. I'm, that's creepy and I'm done. Kangaskhan, just, oh, look at the baby there, like, mimicking the, the adult. That's awesome. Horsey, just smoke screen in it. You got Seedra, Supersonic here from, uh, Goldeen. Another Horn Drill here from, uh, Sea King. Staryu, just using Swift. Hydro Pump here, or, oh, now, th these, these Psychic cards are definitely the best cards in the set. You have Light Screen here, or Barrier, and... <laughs> It's almost like that card we saw at the at the beginning, War Turtle, when he was using his headbutt attack. He was flying in. It was almost like he was attacking this card. Because here we go. It's hitting, but it's hitting the barrier made by Mr. Mime. That's awesome. Ooh, we got a hollow foil scyther here. Just sharpening the blades, ready for ready for the fight. We got the traditional um black like design. Jinx here. I covered in a previous video. This actually got the Pokemon Company in some hot water, so that's why they changed it to the the purple skin here. Got Electro Buzz, looking powerful, looking awesome. I like the little blue electricity coming off its antennas. Magmar. Now this is a a weird design for Pincer. It's almost like it's bending down and and you know pinching its pincers together, but. Its head is still upright, so it's almost like it is rotating its pincers downward, which we obviously have never seen. Uh, unique design, but I don't know if I like that. It looks kind of off. This Psyduck has just gotten bit. This is the all he, he's getting the ditto treatment. You just have Tauros just tackling it. It's got that same look in its eyes, just flying off the off the card. Magikarp just splashing. Nothing it can do. And you got awesome Gyarados, Hollow Foil, looks amazing using Hyper Beam. 
Lapras. It's just a cool looking Lapras. Lapras is such an awesome Pokemon. That's why everyone, so many people like it. All right, at least I take it back. This is the coolest normal type card I've seen on this in this set. At least Ditto gets an awesome card. You actually see it showing that it can transform in all these different Pokemon. This is kind of creepy looking because it shows like these heads of these other Pokemon coming out of its body. It's almost like it's confused, probably from all the hits it's taken throughout this card set. Probably can't think straight anymore, but that is an awesome concept. Uh, just showing showing off Ditto's abilities. That is a really cool card. Oh, we've got another Hollow Foil, but Eevee this time. We get the Eevee Eevee Lucians here. We got Vaporeon, Jolteon, Flareon. Oh, okay. The normal type cards are getting better. That's Porygon using Tri Attack. Even though there's more than three, I'm assuming that's what it is. Ammonite. Ooh, we got a Hollow Foil Amastar. Kabuto. Yeah, the, all the fossil types are, all the fossil Pokemon are hollow foil. And man, Kabutops is such an awesome Pokemon. Who 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 didn't go with Kabutops when choosing one of the fossils in red or blue or yellow? Who who was the Amistar person? I gotta know. <laughs> Aerodactyl just smacking, smacking Slowpoke, and he's just loving it too. <laughs> hollow foil as well. Oh man, these cards. Are, I want one of these hollow foils so bad. And I love it. They said, I remember they had that little meme for a while when uh, one of the recent Pokemon games came out and Snorlax was standing up. They're like, oh, it took him this long to stand up. Wait, guess what? He was at a full sprint way back here, way back when in the first cards. Awesome card. Bringing it home for the normal types. We get the legendaries, Hollow Foil, of course. I'm um, using Blizzard here, Articuno, my favorite of the three legendary birds when I was a kid. Zapdos, Hollow Foil as well, got the blue electricity. Moltres, not looking great. The worst of the three legendaries most of the time, and I think holds true in this card. Okay, we get our, our three dragon types, and Dratini just... Dratini, you think, oh, it's small, it's cute, it's the first little kind of baby dragon. No, look how mean that thing is. Just like strangling a poor Charmander. Its hands are up. It's struggling. You just have Dr Dratini just, just squeezing it. It's awful. Might be the coolest card I've seen in this set. That is awesome. I don't know if, if this is like Dragon Rage or something, some attack like that, but man, shows like this non-Pokemon Dragon. That is so cool. And we got our Hollow Foil Dragonite. Man, using, I'm, I'm assuming, Hyper Beam or something like that, but... Then we get to the beast, Mewtwo. That is an awesome Mewtwo depiction. It's like down in this action hero stance with the levitating rocks. You've got your psychic kind of background with the rainbow color with the hollow foil, amazing. Then you got the weirdo original design from Mew. Just looks, just arms are barely formed, feet are huge, just looks definitely like a fetus. Just creepy looking, but you have to love Mew, so it's hard to hate. You get the hollow foil as well. Um, <laughs> I, I'd still love that card. All right, so that's it, everybody. Um, I hope you enjoyed looking at those cards. I did. I definitely am going to try to hunt some down. They're so expensive, but uh, you never know. I, I'll try to get my hands on some. If I do, I'll show you guys. If you have any, let me know in the com comments which ones you have and what you think of them, if they're worth it. Thanks for watching today's video, and we'll see you next time.